here we have a, a lovely five-year-old warm blood. Now, um, before I fit a saddlebore horse, I'd like to be able to just run my fingers across the horse's back. Not press hard or anything with anything sharp, or just the tips of my fingernails lightly across the back, and we'll see what kind of reaction we have here. Boy. So just like this here, and already you can see he's dipping his back. Can you get that from the side there, is Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. He's dipping his back on the other side. Oh, so sometimes it's one side. Now, he's getting all agitated. But what I'm going to do is, that's caused not just, not, not because the rider is riding bad, but what, we, what we're going to find out now and point out is, is why it's happening. And once I put the saddle on, you'll see another reaction. And this is the saddle that's been used regularly on this horse. You can see, even placing behind the shoulder, the blade behind the scapula, you can already see the saddle is too low in the rear. The balance point is too far back. As a result, it's making the rider sit back in the seat, the lower leg going forward. So there's more pressure along here than anywhere else under the whole saddle. The saddle should be fitted and made so it distributes the rider's weight from the front to the back and to, to the width on the sides. Uh, in this case, it's all happening in the back here. Now, it also affects uh, the horse, which we've seen out here, that uh, the horse wants to hollow its back. So it's very difficult to bring a horse's hindquarters uh, uh, through from behind and round the horse's back up when it's pressing too far back here. So this is how the saddle should be sitting. Okay, when I do that, the cam is slightly higher than the pommel. The deepest point is now in the middle. If I let a marble roll through here, it should end up at the deepest point in the middle here. There's no way I can reflock a saddle this much. Yes, you could say, well, let's put a pad under there, but I'm not a big fan of shimming saddles up uh, that much, especially. Um, it's, it's just not possible. And you can now see also that when it's out of balance, the flap is angling forward, which again contributes to the rider sitting more in a chair seat. The lower leg of the rider will be on the girth or in front of the girth. But if I balance it up, you can also see that the flap comes back and becomes straight. But now our girth straps are too far back. So what happens is you girth like this and that then in turn pulls the saddle forward up on the shoulders and, and that becomes even tighter in the shoulders and the trapezius muscle area. So just wanted to show you that example, even um, without rubbing my hands across the back here, just very gently, whoa, he gets agitated. Um, today he has a rearing bit on just to um, keep him occupied. But when I first walked up to him with the saddle, he was also showing me that he was very angry. So just to, just like to point that out to some customers that helps you in your saddle fitting. Um, I'm sure it will, and I'm sure you'll come across some situations like that.